I'm at the Community Matters Annual Conference where uh, my colleague Drew Mackey and I are preparing to run a workshop session which will help people think through how they manage their existing community buildings, develop them, take over new ones and talk about the tough issues that may come up. Drew, can you uh, just give me a run through of how this is going to um, work? I think we're going to be talking about uh, Slapham Town Centre. Let's have a look at the map. And I think in uh, Slapham there are a number of uh, semi fictitious organisations with buildings. What are those? Um, we have about half a dozen of those at the moment. Uh, we have the, the Slapham Young People's Centre, which is, uh, uh, operates with uh, volunteers and uh, youth worker in the centre of the town, uh, but needs larger accommodation. Um, at present they have a small hall and a, a meeting room, and that's about it. Uh, we also have um, a building called the Brew House, which is present run by the council, which various local groups want to uh, take over and run. Uh, so what we are uh, going to be exploring in the game is how they go through that process of negotiation to take the, the building over. Um, we have uh, a community museum, um, which has seen better days, uh, probably needs a lot more promotion than it, than it has at the moment, uh, generally run by local volunteers and history enthusiasts, but what, what is the future of that organisation? We have a community sports club which is desperate to keep the existing uh, community sports centre in Mavis Park open. Uh, the council intends to close it because it's making losses. Um, so again, how do the community groups uh, come together to be able to achieve that locally? And I think there's, uh, there's, there's several more. And just getting into the uh, run of the uh, game... Um, we're going to be doing them a little presentation. What's the sequence that we're going to be going through? Uh, the, the, the sequence, which I shall open up here. Um, we'll start by uh, studying a scenario we pre prepared for uh, Slapham uh, and a description of the organisation. I should say that people would be divided up into small groups to be able to... Uh, uh, to do this. Each group will be a, a, a community organisation of some sort to assess the uh, accommodation they have and decide on the future direction for uh, their organisation. Uh, once they've done that, um, they'll then ask people to try and put that plan into action by negotiating with landlords, owners, the council, etc., some of whom will be paid by the game organisers, and to look at how they collaborate with other groups in trying to achieve their ends. The, uh, the third uh, part of the, of the game, they will actually try and run the results of part two, and we will throw spanners in the works through giving them cards at later prices and opportunities, and then after that is a government discussion. I think you're busily stuffing into cards accommodation at the moment. How does that work out? Show me the... the uh, I think you've just done the youth centre, haven't you? We have. We now we can't find them because here we go. Um, each group will get a set of uh, cards that represent their existing accommodation. So, for instance, the youth centre has small storage, it has a small kitchen, has a meeting room, and has a small hall. Um, the uh, present are staffed by a, uh, a youth worker and by volunteers. So that describes their existing situation. Uh, but then what we have is a whole number of uh, other cards of things that they want, might wait, wish to add to that, either by um, moving premises or by acquiring other premises in the same building. I think what they're doing is juggling the costs of uh, the, the building, the capital costs, the costs of running the building, yes. mm -hmm. um, and staffing by staff or volunteers. That's correct, yeah. And how long have we got to do this? We've got an hour and a half to do the whole thing. Okay, well, I hope everybody's feeling creative. <laughs> <laughs>